Hello and welcome back to Danny Mac Visions. Today we are going to make lemonade out of resin. So what you're going to need is a glass container. Um, I got this from Amazon. I'll make sure to put the link in the description. Paper straw. I have two different types because I'm not quite certain which one I'm going to use yet. I have Let's Resin uh, Yellow and then I have Sing Wong Golden. And then you got these fake um, ice cubes and got it from Walmart. And then you got the artificial lemons, which got from Walmart. And we're gonna make a little coaster to put our lemonade on. So I have my circle coaster, and then I already have my resin. It's already been mixed for quite some time. I am using marine epoxy. And the reason why is because I love how absolutely flaw this flawless the resin is so we've got it mixed up quite a bit and let's try the yellow okay I've never used it so let's pop the top okay so we're just going to start with one small squirt and see how that does because it's lemon lemonade so you don't want a lot of color I mean you want some color obviously but lemonade is not bright yellow all right so I think that does it let's close this before I make a mess I can take this out of the way so I think that is a nice pretty lemony color So what we're going to do is we're just basically going to pour this into our glass container. So you're probably wondering why I did not fill it all the way up. And the reason why is because when you start adding your ice, um, it's gonna fill up some. Okay, so, and then I just take my little one and I, I want the ice to be seen, so we're gonna move it a little bit over to the sides. Let's make a little bit more. I had hoped that that was going to fill it up a little bit more than what it is. So let's pour some more. And if you've ever used marine epoxy, so which one is this? The actual resin part comes out very gunky. And when I first got this one, I was like, oh my God, did I just waste all this money for nothing? Um, and then I, I found out that it actually is meant to be like that. So if you get marine epoxy, don't be alarmed if it comes out like sludge. Um, it'll be okay, I promise you. So I've put 30 milliliters, so we'll do another 30. And I don't think we're going to put any color in this one, um, just so that way it dilutes the yellow because it looks quite yellow. Um, my lemonade that I'm used to drinking is not that yellow, so perhaps I should have only done an itty bitty little drop. So we'll mix the, the life from this. 
and the other thing is that when you're as you see I have some spilled down the side what I will do is once I've got this pretty much set the way I like it I will go in with um, like a baby wipe and clean the residual off the side I've had people tell me that I mix entirely too hard and I'm introducing bubbles and you know with some epoxy and resin yes I'm very much more careful but with marine epoxy it seems like no matter what you throw at it it is still going to be clear okay so let's pour this in and we'll have to give this a bit of a mix in there That is more along what I was wanting for the amount in there. Okay. And I scrape all of my resin because I am not rich and resin is expensive. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little one and just kind of mix the two together so it gives me a little bit more a universal color throughout the whole cup. Okay, I think that looks a little bit more like lemonade. Measure our straw. We're going to cut about that much off. Again, don't be too concerned about this. It wipes up. there like that and then because my resin is still very soft I'm actually gonna wait about an hour an hour and a half maybe this will start getting real kind of tacky at that time then I will put our lemon into it and I'll add probably one or two more ice cubes on the top so let's set that off to the side let's bring this back over No, we'll work with a clean one. Again, this is the sludgy one, so just be mindful of that. It'll get there, I promise, at some point. There we go.
that we will nix the life out of this. And this is for our coaster. So when you're scraping with your, or mixing with your resin, you wanna make sure that you scrape along the sides um, because it, you know, you really want a very good mixture. So at first I was thinking, let's use the yellow for the coaster. But now that I'm looking at it, I think it would probably be a bit better if it's clear with just yellow glitter in it. Um, so that way we can put a little, a little difference between the two. And yes, I mixed the life out of all my resins. Um, I haven't had an issue yet, so. So this glitter came from Walmart. Um, I just put it into the smaller container so that way it's easier to work with. looks to be about full. You don't want to really overfill it because um, then it'll kind of bubble up on you. Okay. Let me get my alcohol. I love watching everything just kind of... So let's move this off to the side. Let's bring our lemonade back. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Okay. So when we come back, this will be a little bit um, hardened and we will be done. <laughs> 